Welcome to Profit Guru. I'm Cassandra Barney and I am a full-time Amazon seller. On this channel, I love to teach people how they too can make money on Amazon, plus other tips and tricks that I find along the way to make money online. So if you're interested in that type of content, please consider subscribing because it does mean a lot to me. Now, if you're familiar with Amazon, there are really three different methods you can use to make money on the platform. You can open wholesale accounts and start selling those wholesale items. You can go to stores and go online and resell those items that you're buying. That's called arbitrage. Or number three, you can find a product, but differentiate it and then manufacture it to sell. That's called private label. Now, private label is really appealing to people because it is where you can see the highest profit margins typically but it is a big investment. So to find the right winning product to do for private labeling, it is taking some more research, some more time, checking out your keywords, checking out your competitors. How do you know what's going to perform well? You typically don't wanna just sink thousands of dollars into something and take a leap of faith. You're going to want to put in some research first to make sure that that item is going to sell well and bring you back profits. So today I wanna to share with you guys a strategy that I use when I'm looking for different opportunities to private label an item. Let's go. For this strategy, we are going to be using Helium 10. If you come to the tool section, then you will find the black box. So this is the black box area, and then we just need to set in our filters. I think too that I have a discount code that I can give you for Helium 10. If you wanna sign up for it, that'll get you 50% off. So I'll link that below. For the search volume, this is how many times this keyword is being searched on Amazon. We're going to set that to a minimum of 20,000. For the monthly revenue that these keywords are bringing in, for uh, money, it's going to be set to 5,000 for the minimum. Now for the price, I don't like to sell things that are too expensive because we're gonna have returns. We're gonna have things that are broken. I don't wanna lose a ton of money. So I set that to 50, but that's your personal call. And for the price, this is important though, you're not going to want to have things that you're selling that are two, three, four dollars because after the Amazon fees, there's not going to be any room left for profit. So I like to set that to $12. Now the review count is also important because the more reviews, the more people that are buying the product from the sellers and the more competition you're going to have. So you're not going to want to have more than 400 for your max number of reviews. So using these different filters, we're going to hit search and see which key terms pull up for possible products that we want to private label. So here we have the item, the search volume, how many times this item is getting searched per month, the price that it's selling for, monthly sales, monthly revenue, the BSR, which BSR tells you how fast something's selling, the lower the BSR, the better. And then over here we have our reviews. So Rick Steves is a book, I'm not gonna go for that. Juneteenth, that's something to also keep in mind that you're not going to want to go for something that is seasonal because Juneteenth, yes, right before Juneteenth, people are probably getting these decorations, but December, January, people probably aren't getting them then. So you're not going to wanna choose an item that is simply a seasonal item. You're gonna want something that is selling consistently month after month after month. Patriotic decorations, again, seasonal. We have some carrots. Self-adhesive eyelashes. I'm not gonna wanna go with like big names like Spider-Man, Transformers, so I'm just skipping through all of that. Birthday decorations. Decorations is something that I'm looking into right now uh, for private labeling opportunity. Um, one reason being is they are super light. So that's another thing that I'm looking for. While I'm searching, I want to make sure that this item is something that is light, so that it's going to be cheap to ship. Uh, it's not going to be something that can break very easily, and it's not going to have a lot of different moving parts. I want things that are safe to sell, things that are going to get me the least amount of returns possible. Some more birthday supplies. So paint by numbers. Average of 1656, 7,698 in revenue. BSR looks really good. So if it's something that looks interesting, uh, 38,000 people are searching for this per month. Now what I'm going to do is click here and view it on Amazon. So the next thing that I look at when I pull up something, I wanna see how many results come up. 
Uh, so 20,000, that is high. I typically like to see that number down 1,000 or less. Uh, that means that there's 20,000 listings that have paint by number as keywords in their listing. Now that's a lot of competition. How are you going to ensure that you get on page one versus being, let's see, all the way on page seven? Not many people are going to click all the way through to page seven, so if you end up on page seven, you're not going to be getting a lot of sales. So you want to ensure that you are choosing something where there's enough competition, or should I say uh, the competition is low enough so that you can get yourself a spot on page one. So what if I make this a little more detailed and say paint by number kids? So I can see that the results were cut in half. Now there's 10,000, uh, still a high number. But I like to go through and check out the competition specifically to see are there sellers that are landing themselves on page one that don't have a ton of reviews. So page one, I can see 1,500 reviews, uh, 19 reviews, but these ones are also sponsored. So let's go down a little further. Five hundred ninety-three reviews, eighteen hundred reviews. So it seems like a lot of the products that are getting on page one do have quite a few reviews. Uh, this one, six reviews, nineteen reviews. So they're relatively newer sellers. But then the next phase in the research, once I find a key term that seems to be getting a large volume of searches, now I can come here to X-ray. So the x-ray is going to give you a ton more information on this product. I can see that the search volume for these keywords, paint by number kids, they're getting 361 searches a month, total revenue 172,000, um, average price is $15, average BSR 119. That's not too bad of a BSR. Now I can go through and I can set the revenues so that I can see the sellers that are getting the most revenue first. So right here, paint by numbers for adults and kids beginner. They're selling this for $25.99. They're getting 770 sales a month and they're bringing in $20,000 in revenue. The BSR is 3,804. So they are the top sellers for these keywords. And go over a little bit further. Now it even breaks it down where I can see their fees, the ratings that they have, how many reviews they have, the number of images. So it's in the category of arts, crafts, and sewing. Which is, So now let's go down to the bottom ones. Now I'm just looking to make sure that all of them matched up. If I saw something here that isn't a paint by number and shouldn't be here, I could just get that out so it's not in my numbers. Um, these stores are too new, these sellers are too new, so they don't have any data yet. So right here we can see paint by number for kids, $16.99. They're only getting eight sales a month, which is only bringing in $135 in revenue. Uh, that BSR is a lot higher. So this looks like it seems to be a pretty competitive niche to be in. Uh, the top people seem to be really crowded and that the top people are the ones who are really winning all of the sales. But if this was something that you did have your heart set on, next what you would do is try and find where you can manufacture it. You would go right here to find suppliers on Alibaba. And then you will see a ton come up. So this is kind of what I was thinking when I was initially searching for paint by numbers like for little kids but I did not realize that this was such a, an adult area too a lot of adults like to do paint by numbers so let's just click on this one here so custom cotton stretch canvas painting kids adult and kids DIY paint by numbers with frame so if we wanted to get 10 to 49 pieces that's going to run us two dollars and 88 cents uh, but also keep in mind that you are going to have duties that you're going to have to pay too. So let's just go to a sales profit revenue calculator for Amazon and see what the revenue would look like if we were to purchase this and jump into the paint by number niche. So now I would want to find the ASIN that is most comparable. 
So this is for a four pack, six pack, four pack. So I'm trying to find one that has a frame because ours also has a frame with it. All right, so you would copy the ASIN. So now we'll paste this into the revenue calculator on Amazon Seller Central. And then we can see here their sell price, the Amazon fees, fulfillment costs, storage costs, and all we would have to put in is how much we are getting it. So the COGS, the cost of goods. So maybe we'll say $3.50, it was $2.88, we'll add in a little bit for the freight fees. So that would mean that we would get a net profit of $6.23 every time one of these sold, which would be a net margin of 40%, which that's pretty good. Um, I don't like to go below 30% for the net margin. So that's what this whole process looks like. It is very time consuming, but you can definitely find some gold in here. I just go through, find ones that look applicable, things that are not seasonal, things that are light, and then I start digging deeper into them. Uh, once I find on the x-ray that it's getting enough search volume, it's getting a high enough revenue, that's when I go over to Alibaba and start trying to find the right manufacturer to produce this product for me. You're definitely not going to want to skip the revenue calculator part. So when things are checking out, and you're really thinking about purchasing it, always go to that revenue calculator so that you can see what the anticipated fees are going to be and you can see what your profit's going to look like in the end. Pink cowgirl hat, let's check this out. So there are only 1,000 results. That's better than 20,000, 10,000. So much better odds of landing yourself on page one. Now, when we go down, we see some sponsored. Now for the Amazon's Choice, 96 reviews. Um, right here, this one only has one review and it has landed itself on page one. So that's kind of hopeful. That's looking like maybe pink cowgirl hat might be something you want to investigate further, especially considering the fact that this is a product that you could definitely differentiate. All of these hats look different. So you could put your own little twist on it so that it's not just a generic hat and that yours stands out. Only nine reviews. So this is looking like a really promising item. Uh, a lot of people landing on page one are newer sellers with smaller amount of reviews. So that means you could probably get yourself on page one too. Let's run the x-ray on this. So for the revenue, this key term, pink cowgirl hat, is bringing in $258,000 a month. Average revenue, $6,984. The average price is $21. BSR of $90,000. This is looking pretty solid. So now I'm going to want to look at the specific sellers. Is there one that is taking all the sales? So right here, spot number one. They're selling their kangaroo cowboy hat. For $16.95, they are selling 2,925 of these a month, bringing in $49,000 in revenue. That is just crazy. So it is pretty full of competition. There are a lot of pink hats here. Um, let's see, as we go down a little further, these sellers aren't making as much. They're only bringing in 1,000, but Hey, if we can manufacture a pink hat and make $1,000 off that one item alone, that's pretty good. So down here, not enough data. There's a lot of new people jumping on. They also found this key term. And some of the newer sellers, five sales a month, they're bringing $84. So let's now go and see if we can find some pink hats. I'm pretty sure that was on the first page of Amazon already. So we're going to want to avoid that one. Let's check this one out. So this one's pretty cool. It's a sequin one, so that's definitely differentiating things. If I order between one to 4,999 pieces, I'll be paying $1.60 each. So another spot where you can grab the ASIN for the product is coming down here. I can see the ASIN there, and then down even further under the product details, you'll find the ASIN there. So we're just going to grab that and paste it into the revenue calculator. All right, so if we were selling our pink hat for the same price, this is what our fees would look like. 
And then for the price to source it, the cost of goods, we'll put in $2.50. And now, Every time we sold one of our little pink sequin hats, we'll be making almost $5. That's a 32.52% net margin. So this is how the strategy works. You just look for those keywords and then find the products. Is there room for you to jump in? Is there too much competition? Is there enough search volume? Now, can you find that product, maybe differentiate it to make it your own, plug it into the revenue calculator and see how much it's going to bring you back. So after this, you wouldn't just want to stop. You're going to want to do even more research. You're going to want to look at the listings for these pink hats from both angles. A really good seller and try to mimic what they're doing, see what keywords they're using, and a really bad seller. Look at how their listing is bad and how you don't want to do that and what you can do differently to make sure that you're landing on page one. Thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. I hope you found this video super informative and as a really good tool to help you to do some solid research for private labeling opportunities. Again, if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.